So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to install PHP MyAdmin. So it is a free software tool written in PHP that is intended to handle administration of MySQL. So in here, I logged in as root and then I updated my operating system. And then as you can see, I have here my MySQL show databases. So it's fairly new. So I'm going to create a database. Okay, let's name it sample underscore DB. And then inside that database, I'm going to create a sample table. Okay, so once done, I'm going to show my table. Okay, so I have the employee table and then describe the table just to be sure. Okay. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is uh, we're going to install the required packages needed by the PHP my admin. So, app get install PHP my admin and then PHP dash MB string and then PHP dash zip php dash gd and then php dash json and then finally the php dash curl and press enter select y to continue with the installation Then in this part, configuring PHP my admin, you select Apache 2 and then OK. Then in this part, configure database for PHP my admin with dbconfig common. Select yes and then put the password of my SQL. Make sure you use the root. Then confirm the password. Then after the installation, we type PHP en mod space 
MB string, press enter. And then let's edit the configuration file of Apache. That's etc apache2 slash apache2.conf. So at the bottom of the file, we're going to include. So type include slash etc slash php my admin slash apache.conf. Okay, so once done, save the file, then exit. So here we're going to check the existing users of our MySQL. So go to your MySQL and then type in select a user, comma authentication underscore string, comma plugin, comma host from MySQL dot user semicolon and then here you can see all of the users okay so we're going to alter or uh, give a permission to the root so just follow what i'm typing Then uh, next is we're going to restart the Apache service. Just type in service, Apache 2, restart. Okay. And then once done, open your browser and then type in localhost slash. So once you see the Apache default page it means to say that your apache web server is working then type in localhost slash php my admin so if you see the initial page of php my admin it means to say that your php my admin is already working so all you have to do is to type in the username which is root and your root password so once you're logged in you can see your databases there. Okay, so click databases. And then inside, you can see the database that we have created a while ago. And then click that database. And then inside that database, we can now see the employee table. So it's still blank. So if you want to put data in the table, just click insert. Then put the necessary data. Employee ID. Employee last name. Employee first name. And finally, employee email. So as you can see there, I put an email that has more than 20 characters. So if I click go, there will be an error. I'll just delete a character so that it will be accepted. So there you go. That is how you install PHP MyAdmin on your Linux operating system.